So uh, September 9th of 2015, this past year, I got a text from Hunter. And he said at the time, Mr. McLean, it's now Bobby. Mr. McLean, I'm coming to Greenville and I want to talk to you about a little surprise I have in store for Campbell. Now, a little surprise today as known, is known as the understatement of the year. So Hunter and I meet for a cup of coffee and, and it's great. He flies in and, and uh, we just have a great time catching up and Hunter and I get along so well. He's so easy to talk to. And the past 25 years, I've thought about what I want to hear a young man say to me if he's going to ask me for my daughter's hand in marriage. And so I'm sitting there, my mind's racing. And while I'm thinking about what I want to hear, Hunter says, Mr. McLean, I love Campbell with all my heart and I can't imagine living my life without him. And I just sat there kind of stunned, and I said, well, he just checked box one and box two <laughs> off of my list. And while I'm thinking about that, you know, I'm sitting here just kind of trying to process all this. And he said, I, I just want to make, you know, I just I want, our I want God to be the center of our marriage, and I want God to be the center of our life. And I said, okay, he, he just checked box three, and I could just hear Campbell going, now, Hunter. <laughs> If you'll just say this, <laughs> my dad will love it, and he'll love you. for you and cannot be more excited that you are joining our family. I remember when you first asked Campbell out to a date to go get Froyo. She was so nervous and she wanted to have a couple glasses of wine before she went to calm her nerves. However, she did not want you to know that and she didn't have much time before y'all were supposed to leave so she told you that she was at Walmart. But really, little did you know, we were just sitting down the hall in her apartment prepping her for her first date with this cute USC soccer player. I think she tried about 10 outfits before this first date. We analyzed every one of her sex because we used a lot of exclamation points and smiley faces. It's okay, Hunter. And of course, you know Campbell asking a million questions like she does, such as, oh my gosh, how much yogurt should I get? How much, should I add gummy bears to it? Should I add... How many different flavors? Are we going to sit inside or are we going to sit outside? <laughs> and who knew five years later that the guy that she was so nervous to go on her first ice cream date would be the man of her dreams. My prayer this day is as you go forth from this place, no matter where God or this life takes you, that you go and you let your love for one another be a beacon of light and hope and love in the world into which you go forth, husband and wife. Jesus, thank you so much for today and just for Kimball and Hunter of marriage and what it means, um, and that you love us so much and give us a perfect example of how to love one another. Uh, Lord, we just pray that Campbell and Hunter will keep you at the forefront and the center of your marriage and just look to you um, for how to love each other um, and to navigate through this journey of life. Um, we just thank you for what you want to us. So, um, we're just so thankful them. Lord, so thank you for today. Thank you for these friends that are surrounding Campbell um, on this special day. We love you so well. Um, and just bless us today, Lord, and just help them to remember every single detail. We love you so much. To my beautiful bride. Cam, I've loved you since the moment I met you. I'll never forget the feeling I had after the first night we spent together going to yoga and hanging out in Olympia. 
Five years ago, I never realized what an incredible journey we were embarking upon together. I never dreamed I would find someone who challenged me to see the world in the way that you do. Our adventures together and trips all around the world helped us grow even closer, and for that I am so thankful. I remember thinking how in the world is someone so beautiful, kind, and amazing interested in me. I am so honored to have you as my wife, soulmate, and li lifelong partner. Today is the day we will reminisce about as our hair turns gray, as we grow old together. I promise to be the best wife I can, I can possibly be, and to always love you no matter what. It will all be over soon, so enjoy it. I'll be there with you every second. I love you so much. Love, Hunter. And I am so happy that you're my forever. I can't wait to see you at the altar, my love. I love you more than you will ever know. Love, Campbell, July 16th, 2016.